Hey, how you going? I'm Colin Guitar. Welcome to my channel. Now, we're going to discuss the skills of practicing how to do the kettlebell clean, okay? Kettlebell clean is a really good exercise. This is an exercise you should learn, you want to learn, to add to your skills and how to do uh, kettlebell movements and kettlebell exercises. Now you can progress from just doing the simple exercises and really making your exercise more complex or more fun, more interesting. So the kettlebell clean, um, you, can use, you can use your cast iron, okay? Or you can use your competition bell, all right? So with any exercise, the way you get really good at it is you practice, 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 okay? Because the kettlebell clean is a skill. It's like learning how to play basketball, how to shoot hoops, how to kick the ball. There's a certain way to do things, there's the optimal way, and the more you practice that skill, the better you get at that skill, the more fun it becomes, and the more you can benefit from it, okay? So, the kettlebell clean, all right, we'll just start with how to do the kettlebell clean. If we just pop it down here, okay? We wanna have that kettlebell a little bit forward. Let's take a natural step back. I want to put the egg, um, kettlebell on this angle, okay? So it's just the handle's facing a little bit this way. We're going to be using a monkey grip to grab the kettlebell. So before we grab that kettlebell, we're going to hinge at the hips, okay? Hinge, grip the kettlebell. Now, I'm going to hike the bell back so my arm makes contact with my body, like so. And then I'm going to step up. Now, what you'll notice is, when I'm doing the hike, it's coming between my legs, okay, from this grip, between my legs, and I'm doing this little dip, okay, and it's a swing. There's this little arc, and there's a swing with it, okay? So what I'm showing you is the bum, uh, the thumb away from you. This movement, you make contact, and we're pulling. Yeah. Now, probably the best way for you, if you're a beginner, learning the kettlebell clean, is first of all, placement of the kettlebell. We just want it in front of us, just a little bit. Okay, take that natural step back. Hinge at the hips, okay? From here, just turn on an angle. Want to grip the kettlebell with that monkey grip. I hike the bell back so our arms touch our bodies. Okay, and there's a swing movement and we're popping up. Bell, you end up in the bicep, the cradle of your bicep. Okay, but from here, it's you're just rotating the bell round so it goes down like so, makes contact with your body, and then bring it back up. Okay, now I recommend doing it that way where your thumb is towards your bum. So without the kettlebell, thumb towards your bum. Why? Because your arm naturally bends a certain way. When it bends this way, it protects your, protects your arm. Just in case something goes wrong, you can always let it go and it won't be too much damage. If we do it with the thumb away, like so, you've got all this stretch on your tendons. Can be quite cause an injury, especially if you've gone too heavy too early. So, when you're learning this exercise, please start with low reps and low weight. Okay, this is 12 kilos. I recommend going anywhere between 8 to 12 kilos in the beginning, or even lighter if you're really, really um, strict about the practice. Okay, so from here, with this grip, don't grip like so, just nice loose uh, in your hand, just pop it down, small arc, boom. If you notice my elbow will stay pretty tight to my body, bring it up, okay. When you're bringing it up, it should just slide into the again. Now, what are the benefits, heaps of benefits, right? When you're using the kettlebell clean, it's really good for developing grip, okay. Really great for grip. 
Another thing is good for forearms. So if you want to build really, really strong forearms, do your camera clean. And every time it comes in, grip it and squeeze. 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 The other thing it's good for forearms, of course, helps you grip. You'll see your biceps. So, you want to build some really strong biceps? Here we go again. Really squeeze hard in that bicep position, in that crane position. Squeeze, let go, squeeze. Okay, so short video. Please like and subscribe. I'll leave some uh, tips in the description and uh, leave some comments. Thanks for joining. See you next time.